I want to show you will fit into this 511 Rush 72 right here. I got my iPad mini. I got my Topo Designs pouches right here. I got my Go hey, Rug packing. Hey, yeah, yeah. What, what are you doing? I'm just showing the people what will fit into this Rush 72 for my fishing trip this weekend. What fishing trip? Oh, I got the hall pass, fellas, from the wife. That means I'm good to go on my fishing trip this weekend. And this is the bag that I'm taking with me. The massive bag that I'm taking with me. 511 Rush 72. 2.0 version right here. This is a good bug out bag if you want to bug out. For all my prepared guys out there, the emergency's coming. You need a bag to carry your stuff right here. Tr good size travel bag. This is actually a really great hunting bag too. Take all your overalls in it, all your ammunition in it, put all your stuff in it and just Go out on your trip. So I'm gonna walk you around this bag. We're gonna do a little bit of specs and I'm gonna show you three things that they changed on this bag from the 1.0 version to the 2.0 version. So let's get the specs out of the way. This is a 55 liter pack. Everyday carry, I don't think so. This is a little bit too large for your everyday carry. So I kind of laid out I, what I think that this bag is kind of suited for. Now, you'll notice this is in the multi-cam and you'll see a lot of molly on the outside of this bag. The main body of the bag made of a 1000D Cordura, but they also have some versions made out of a 1050 nylon. Super heavy duty, super rugged. I love these 511 Rush bags because you can beat on them and beat on them and they come back and they're a good price. Let's go ahead and talk about the price. The price on this bag is 265. That's for the Cordura version. If you want the nylon version, it's 180. The weight on this bag is 5.3 pounds. And I know what you guys are saying, five pounds? Damn, that's a lot of weight. But we gotta look at that in comparison to the capacity, 55 liters. So that's actually a really good weight weight slash size ratio. So let's go there. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the three things, like I said, that three things that they've changed on this bag. Number one, there's a laptop compartment on this bag. So to get into the bag, to get access to this huge main section, you do have to undo the compression straps on the side. They did it, they have a nice system for these compression straps. They have like a little nice little strap holder so the straps just don't go flying everywhere. You got four compression straps you gotta release, right? Two on each side. And we're gonna get back, this is like a little, you know, like a little beaver tail pocket, right? We're gonna talk about that in a little bit later, but that's a little feature that's extending out right now. So you undo the compression straps, you get to YKK zippers. The, on the main section, these are number 10 YKK zippers. They put the 511, you know, little grab on there so you can unzip. And this is a full clamshell opening bag, guys. So we unzip massive, massive amount of space. So you can see in here, I have my Go Ruck. This is a 20 liter packing cube. So I got 20 liters of clothes right here. This is enough for a week for me, easy. I also, since I'm going on a fishing trip, I needed some extra, you know, clothes to wear after I'm done fishing. So I got my, this is a 10 liter packing cube, Go Ruck 10 liter packing cube. So that's 30 liters of clothes right there. In the interior, I got my Sony XM3s and this is my Topo, like a Topo pouch. I love these pouches right here. They actually have a high vis interior in the inside of the pouches. So yeah, that's right up my alley if you guys watch my videos. But yeah, topo pouches are awesome. And then this is your massive amount of space that I was talking about as far as backing your clothes out. Not a, a like a high vis interior, but you know, this lighter tan is good, right? So you un undo this little tab and then you can get to your laptop sleeve. This will take a, this is a 15 inch laptop. I believe this will take a 17 inch laptop with no problem. Cause that's just how big this laptop sleeve is. It is suspended off the bottom, not fake suspended. Actually like a good two inches suspended off the bottom. So I actually like that. Now the only comp complaint I will have about the laptop compartment on this bag is that the fact that I had to unload all of my stuff to get to it, right? So it's not something you can easily access from the outside of the bag. So I would love to see, you know, like a zipper here so you could go 
right to your laptop compartment without having to rearrange all your stuff, right? So since we're here, since we're in the interior of the bag, let's go ahead and talk about the rest of this interior stuff. On the lid of the bag right here, you have three huge pockets. The mesh in here that 511 uses is excellent. You got YKK zippers. If I was to guess, it's like a number five. In here, I got my little North Face hat that I put on. It's like one of those sweat resistant, you know, so you're not sweating all over yourself. And then in here, I got my Zero Lemon Power Bank. This is what I take with me on all my trips. Keeps my phone charged and all my electronics. And I also have like a USB-C cable in there. But a huge pocket. I can see you even organized. I'm like, I don't even need this dock kit, really. I could have just stuck at all my toiletry items in here and that would have been great. And then down here, you got an opaque pocket, which is, <laughs> which is massive as well. So actually three really good size pockets to organize your stuff inside the interior of this bag that's awesome so change number two on this bag is that they added a ccw compartment right here in the front there is a pocket like a little pocket right here and it has some velcro you kind of pull this velcro open and then you can reach in and get to your CCW back there. So this is a nine millimeter representation. This pocket becomes a little tight, more than a little tight when you have the bag packed out. So that's one thing to consider if you really want quick access to your CCW, you know, that's gonna be, it's gonna be tough to get it in and out. It actually might be a good thing because you don't want people to be able to access your CCW, but that's what it is. The number three thing on that they changed on this bag is they added a larger sunglass pocket on the top of the bag. So you unzip, that's a, another YKK zipper, a little smaller, and they got a fleece lined pocket in here. Now, I just put in my sunglasses, so those would fit with no problem, but let's see if our cell phone, something like that. This is a Note 20 Ultra. Let's see if that will fit in there. It's a big cell phone. Yeah, it fits in there with no problem. So yeah, you can put your wallet keys and cell phone in there. That's actually a really great improvement because that's a pocket that I use a lot. So now that we got those three improvements out of the way, let's walk around the rest of the bag. Let's start at the bottom right here. We got some lashing points. So maybe you want to attach a bedroll, which I can definitely can see taking this bag camping. You can put a bedroll or a tent down here and lash it down. We've already talked about the Molly kind of, you know, this bag is filled with Molly. So if you want to add some extra attachments, you can. So let's talk about this app. There's an admin panel right here in the front. You do have like a place right here if you want to attach your morale patches, little team patches, you can. And then let's unzip this thing and get inside of This is a massive admin section right here. So if you want to organize your smaller items, you've got plenty of space to do it. In here, same mesh, same great mesh. And there I got my little tribut speaker I take with me when I travel. So I love music. So I'll pull that out when I need it. And then you have an opaque pocket down here where you know you can fit in some extra additional items. There's some decent amount of space right there. Some little, a little bit of dimension built into these pockets. And then in this pocket, I put my iPad mini. So in a case, so this is actually a pretty deep slip pocket. So you could probably put file folders or something like that down there. They do have a key keeper that's on the other side, a little short though. I actually like it when these key keepers are longer so that you can access a lock. And then down here you have more like admin organization. So you got some pen slots down here. I got my <laughs> knife that I'm taking with me. This is the Native 5 Salt. I dyed the scales. This is made out of LCN 200. So the knife doesn't rust. So that's you know, a great fishing knife. And then on the pocket itself, you got, ah, you got, I gotta move this thing around, it's heavy. So inside you got another pocket right here. This is where I keep my LTC little pocket eye fact right here, a little medical kit with me. Definitely need that on a trip like which I'm going on, so. That fits in that little pocket with no problem. I said I was gonna take you back to this beaver tail pocket in the front. This thing is massive. So you can put, I think this was a great place for shoes or any wet items that you wanna have on the outside of your bag. You could kind of just hang it out there. There's plenty of space, jacket, shoes, overalls, whatever that you need to stick in this outside part. And then you can cinch it back up 
on the sides, kind of put some compression down on whatever's hanging on the outside of the bag. These are Duraflex buckles, they work great. They sound great, you can hear the snap on them. And then as you move up, you got a little outside pocket. So you kind of got like two quick, quicker access pockets right on the top of the bag. So this one, this is where I stuck in my wallet in this little, this is a little mesh pocket right here. And then you can also stick additional items right here in the top. So yeah, just my wallet is in there. And then as we move up to the top of the bag, we'll talk about the grab handle on the top of the bag. 511, 511 does their grab handles really well. They're actually pretty simple, but they're stitched in well. You can actually add a carabiner to the side. There's two places on either side for you to add a carabiner. Great grab on this, even for a bigger hand. This bag is super heavy, even for a bigger hand. So that's actually a really good thing. Now let's move around to the side. You do have two pockets on the side. Now you can set these pockets up however you want. But for me, I set them up at, well, at least I set one up for a water bottle pocket. So let's turn to that side. Again, to get full access to it, you have to undo the, well, just one of the compression straps. Undo this compression strap and then you can get in, and this is a 32 ounce Yeti Rambler. Yeti Rambler? Yeti Rambler right here. So this fits in there with no problem, so I have no issue or think that a 32 ounce Nalgene should fit in here. I hadn't tried it, let's try it right now. Happen to have a 32 ounce Nalgene right here, so let's try it and see, yup. Swallows it up, yeah, swallows it up, so you can do, two water bottles on the outside if you wanted to because you do have two of those pockets. So I'll put my um, Yeti on this side and just stick it in. So you're carrying plenty of water in this pack or if you have longer items, these pockets would be great for that. There's no organization in the pockets themselves. They're just an open pocket where you can put, you know, just dump whatever you want. So that's pretty cool. Now on the back of the bag, one thing that I really enjoy and it's the standout feature for me on 511 bags is the harness system, this yoke system that they use because it's super damn comfortable. The shoulder straps, then the U-style top at the, so it doesn't bother your neck. And then the, the shoulder straps are ergonomically cut, nice amount of padding, super wide sternum strap. Yes, on a 55 liter pack, I'm keeping that sternum strap on. So Duraflex buckles snap in there, and that sounds so damn good. So you got the salt style shoulder straps where you can actually disconnect them if you need to, but I never need to. So that's, you know, this is a salt style bag, so maybe those ninja activities, they'll, they'll take you out there, whatever, that you need that uh, quick ditch. Now, we have an official hip belt down here. Not a hip strap, a hip belt, load bearing, well, load transferring pack down here. So this actually extends out really well. So this will take the weight from out of the pack down to your hips. Yes, I love it because this bag right here is heavy as hell right now. So I do wanna talk about the material on the, the back of the bag, this, this back panel. So this is a nylon right here. And this goes into, you know, the fact that this bag is meant to be beat up on. So you <laughs> have this heavy nylon backing right here. You do have some air channels. So you got two spots right here for your upper back and then for your lumbar down here, some nice cushioning, dense cushioning. Might not be the greatest airflow out there, but it goes into the fact that you wanna beat this bag up. So you're not gonna have like air nylon on the back of this bag because it's meant to be, you know, abused. So in the back right here, you have a water bladder compartment back here. So you could fit a two liter water bladder if you wanted to back here in the back. So that's awesome. And there's actually a port there so that you can run your hydration, run your hydration out. So there's a port right here on the top so you can run your hydration out. Great value for this bag. I will, I'm not gonna call it cheap because, you know, people people jump on me in the comments when I say, whenever I say something is cheap, but I, I think this is a very high value item. This is bag, it will last you for years. You can beat on it all day, take it on all your trips, and it will keep on, you know, you'll keep on using it over and over, and it will just break in. So 
Do I like this bag? Do I stamp, seal, and approve? Does it have George's approval? Yes, it does. For 180, this is an awesome bag for travel, for bug out, for whatever you need 55 liters for going in the woods. Awesome. Great bag. I mean, you gotta be a fan of Molly. You know, that's the only kind of, for me, I'm not a big Molly guy. I love having Molly Powell's webbing systems on the outside of my bags, but I understand the use. I understand why guys want that on the outside of their bag so they can attach different items. So that's cool. Man, this is a great, great bag. Guys, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you loved it, subscribe to the channel because we always got room for more subscribers. If you got a question about everyday carrying backpacks, eyes, and flashlights, leave it down there and you know, leave a question or whatever. And I'll try to get back to you and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.